Yes, yes. Good evening, fellow Groove Riders. Will from Wheels and Electrical Services. In tonight's video, it's just of me and Ebs uh, just showing our day to day stuff we are doing. Um, also, today's job got cancelled, so I was setting up a rewire and all that sort of caper. So, hope you enjoy the episode. Roll the intro. <laughs> Helps the channel grow, like, follow, subscribe, and flip wheels, mate. It helps, it helps the channel, channel grow. grow. Why are you looking all nervous for, guys? Right, it is a Monday morning, back at a regular customer's job, and uh, what they've asked for is they want to get rid of that sensor, and we've got to fix one of these lights, but because that sensor don't work. Is it plugged in? Is it plugged in that one there? No, it's plugged in down here. Is it? Yeah. Well, that's where we've got a wire to then, guys, yeah? Yeah, so basically we've got a triple FP. We've got a bit of conduit. We're going to conjure it up there and then intercept this sensor. Well, it might just be easier just to go straight to the sensor and just do uh, JB up there. Put in a whisker box. Where's the cable go back to? Back here somewhere. Yeah, light and yeah. Bosh, lovely little views. Should only be an hour or two. Yeah, luckily we don't do any of their testing, but basically what we've found is that this LCM is plugged into that, that there. Well, I don't know if I think I've ever seen a flat plated one. So all this chunky like hanging out of that. It's dreadful. Well, you got a wand on now? Yeah. That's a touch though, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't really need to, do we? We're only unplugging it, and then yeah. it's... Yeah. Old thing, if you cut that uh, tie wrap, we'll drop it down and see what they've done. Yeah. They've obviously wired into the end of it, haven't they? Yeah. So you've got two different brand ones, haven't they? Rough as. We could probably bring the cable up over the top of it all and then bring it down and then we'll have to metal tie wrap it to this bit here, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So we bring it straight up. Might even have to use that rod there and go above the ceiling. Above yeah, so see, see where the grooves are on the ceiling. Yeah. We go between them, so that holds it up. Do the one same up there. So it's off the ceiling, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's never going to be great, is it, guys? But... Yeah. Well, kind of that day, yeah, yeah. We've got some metal tie wraps in the van, haven't we? And just, we just intercept this cable. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Pretty easy, so, isn't it? So that's the, this is the main one then for the PIR? Yeah. Is that on a plug, is it? Yeah. Uh, it's six points, isn't it? Yeah, because it's probably got a uh, permanent feed. It's probably got dimmer, dimmer part to it and all. We unscrewed the front of this. But we, uh, unplug them yeah. and bring it down and we have a little look and see what it's got, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I'll just quickly show you, like, we're not that familiar with this, even though one of our schools we look after has all this stuff, but the easiest way, so this LCM is just literally just a, a four way unit there. So what I've done there was literally just put the plug in. So that's the permanent feed, so that's okay. So this one, I've literally just done this, so that's neutral. Then the earth is this one. And then what there is, is there's one that's got switched on it. So if I go to that, yeah, that cut bells out, yeah? Yeah. So what that basically means is now we can wire that triple from that switch. And then if we if we put the switch line in switch, it should energize these. So it means where this PIR was plugged in like this, we don't actually need that anymore, yeah? And that's, what, that's the way we're gonna do it. So we're gonna put a stuffing gland into there 
we've we've only got three cores, so we just put the neutral in a uh, we just put a neutral oh, in a Wago, or we double up the earth. Yeah, we do that, geezer, yeah? and that's how we're gonna do it. So all in all, pretty easy. Yeah, because most you know, like uh, the uh, click ones are pretty much the same. You've only really ever seen the click ones, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's the easiest way of finding it. So even though it says switch, we've proved it via that, yeah? So basically we've started using the pack out today just because we've got so much going on in there, but I am a fan, but when it comes to working around houses, it's a bit of a blind nips, isn't it? Yeah. Got the laser plus, we'll fix it in the bag. Just leaving multi tool because we weren't too sure whether we can cut through this one, but I don't think we can, can we? We've got a test kit in here. What? I, I can see it's. What's that? We ain't gonna be able to shoot down the wall. Nah. Yeah, all there, and it's got saddles because that site temporary board we're doing this afternoons for this as well. Yeah, sometimes with these plasterboard fixings, they do not like being moved around once they're tight, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're awful. And especially these ones where they're giving you shorter screws. You have to make sure you have the right screws with the right ones that they keep coming in the same box. Oh, it's painful. Yeah, it's still got to tighten that up now. Yeah. These are all like the modular walls, aren't they? So, yeah, so that dummy bit he's just put on that cross and it looks like it's put on. You'd expect it to be, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so a little close up and that's what's going on. So we've got that all wired now, so it goes across the top there. We'll just leave the metal tire up, so we're gonna tie up that down there. We've done the conduit so it goes all the way up to the ceiling as well. They're supported by metal ones. We're not cut that just yet, just in case. We need a bit more, we're going to tie wrap it back that way with metal ties and make sure it's all right. The old fan's just down there with the girls. Oh, yeah. All sorted, I'll get, actually, I'll get that light because one of these lights don't work. We suspected that one. And we're going to leave the sensor in there. We might see if we've got spare ones. Look, let's see where the old managing director's been playing golf in there. Well, right. right, I'll just show you these connected because we only had a free call. And plus, if they ever want an extra switch line, or they want a key switch, then they've obviously got that core, but at the moment we're just doing the grey as neutral, then with the switch line brown, then the black is the uh, permanent feed. Because obviously on them click systems, black is always the, uh, you can see it's the tie wrap neatly down there. We're doing the best what we can. Evs is just making that off onto there. So he's doubling up the black, so you need to put some brown sleeving on there. Yeah. Yeah, and then the neutral, the neutral, and then that brown goes with that switch one. Yeah, nice one. Well, and then okay. the black goes that one, isn't it? What? Black goes that brown. Yeah. All right, so we're just finishing up on this job now, and I've got the cable over, tie wrapped it along the purling, down the rod with metal tie wraps, and then just tie wrapped on top of the uni. And then it'll just sit like that. Right, so that is that all done. That's all basically it is. We just put them on the switch, let the sensor in play and that lead above there. So if they ever want us to swap it back, it's not a problem. But, right, so we're just doing this site temporary where this board is quite high. I'm actually not going to cut down that board. Normally I'd do them half, but where the heli blocks are going to go into where that fuse board is there, that's why I've left the board low. So hopefully the board will finish about there so it's not too high for your sockets, for your chargers and stuff like that. We've got a load of Festo nights that we're going to plug in and all that. Ebbs is just moving a switch next door. The only problem is the wholesalers have gave us the uh, Hager with these knockouts where so I'm just going to carefully drill two 20 mil holes there, ready for two, two 20 amp, uh, two on each one. Bit of plastic coming down, and this is why I've left this board as high as it is. Normally I'd cut it in half and do two of them, but we're going to try that. All right, let's get into it. Hey, Epps, what you got there, bro? Uh, bush banner. It's not a bush banner, it says it on the handle, babes. 
Because we're at the same thing, isn't it? No, because a, uh, a bush oh, spanner. It's an internal one, isn't it? Is the bit that goes internal, yeah, it's actually a uh, product. So we've got this all nice and sorted. Get that nice and screwed in. Yeah. Get that nice and sorted. It's just made a really good point. You no need to swear though, guys. Coronado on you. Yeah, yeah was just, what was you saying? You can always see a bit of thread, yeah. yeah you can it's just, it it's really funny because you know like where you got these, these bits here, One's, one's for a 25, one's for a 20, but the thickness is different between old and new. When you take out like the old ones, ones the new ones, yeah. 10 times thicker. Yeah, but theoretically they shouldn't be, should they? No. Yeah. It's yeah, it's just moody in it, it's just proper Lonsdale gear in it. And the trouble is, is that you ain't really got a choice. Worst ones when we used to do boards and like do three phase boards with an isolate underneath, use a two inch brush. And you could see about for like three mil, it was awful. Yeah. Boys. I put my sticker up the top here and all, that's what I bought the sticker for. Yeah. You've got a little one, you can't transform Yeah, I've got little ones for the transformer, yeah. Shouldn't take too long, all we've got to do is just swing the uh, tails into this. Thing. We can get, uh, you can do the board on this anyway. What's the time anyway? I oh, thought I was free. I can't believe I was going to do an actual video on just this one. Oh, that would have been a shocking watch, wouldn't it? Oh la la, Epsi. Oh la la. So we did decide to do two radials, didn't we? So top and top and left, and bottom and right on the same one, and just two two radials. Should we do the board? Sorry. Yeah, if you do might as well do the board. It gives you an opportunity to do a little bit more, doesn't it? Yeah. Just that RCD switch. So you just got to put that neutral back in. Neutral goes back in there. Sorry about that, my uh, battery uh, on my phone died, so we had to wait for it to charge, so we got this all sorted. So I got them coming in, them coming in, and I'll quickly show you where it's going. We got them all second fixed and all, so it's all ready to go. We just got right slate, it makes safe this board, so then the tails are gonna swing into that handy block. Yeah. That earth looks a bit short, but so that depends on where it comes because we're gonna have to rip and cut all that out anyway. Get that all nice and sorted, and that's gonna sit there. Result. Right, so we've just been round. Well, Ebs is still doing that upstairs, but we've got the 110, so that, that board can't go up. So what we've done is we just literally lashed all these around. That is obviously going to go on the table over there. And uh, we've got all so many upstairs. Got 22 metres for downstairs and 44 for upstairs. But it's looking good. The trouble is, obviously the same as everything is... Uh, actually brighter than it has ever been in this room as so we're just using the dewalt stapler yeah, it's all lava and plaster most of these ceilings are coming down i think so the good thing is with these ones is you literally just screw them on so just literally screw them just at uh, one cent two core yeah it goes across when it goes round, we're leaving as much slack as uh, there's a void there. And then the loft is over here. But yeah, so that's what comes off. So what I'm saying to Ebs is I might even buy us one for when we do the loft. It's funny, really, because like I was saying to Kate, because a lot of times when we've done the gatehouse and all that, it's pitch black in there. We could have died for this, but they own this now, so... 
we're just going to take it from job to job, aren't we, Ebs? But it's pretty good stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely worth having. Yeah. This is what the American use, 110 volt. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, oh la la. Love the house, isn't it? So there's loads of walls coming down and all that sort of caper, but no doubt we'll have a video rewiring this. Looks like it's a review. A lot of the external walls are being thermal boarded, so we're literally just no chasing, just bring tails and then to a uh, dry lining box. Sweet, a bit like how we done Nigel's to the barn. If I can find it, I'll put it up. But, I'll turn centre force off for a minute. So Ebs has got this mounted to the wall. Doing all right. Uh, so we couldn't actually, uh, we can't isolate these tails. So what we're gonna do, well, say so we can't isolate them. We've got absolutely the whole farm turned off, but we, uh, at the weekend or when we do the job, we got to fit a fused isolator this other end for these tails because uh, you can't be turning the whole farm off just to, uh, just to work on this, but that's just going in that heli block. Mm. Doing all right, guys. Looks good, doesn't it? It's the best way to practice is on shit like this, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? But we're getting there, and this is the temporary board that's going to last forever, and that's why we've left it so long, so it's not too far, but we should be able to get a table. There must be something here we can uh, probably uh, use as a table. Right now, absolutely everything in the house is going to be dead, so we don't have to worry. I wonder if there's... Can't use that because they're using that. They're... The people have moved next door, so... That's the thing, I'll see if Gary and that can make us up something. Right, so it's Wednesday morning. We've got some metals going here. We've had here a little bit of a ritual this week, Ebs, isn't it? Of coming here first thing yeah. and sorting the van out because I do get a bit emotional about how. Definitely better for the paper, isn't it? it is, yeah. <laughs> it is 100%. And it's better for my unit and all because at least we're managing the rubbish as well, aren't we? Was, uh, there's a uh, metal store, there's a metal uh, skip on our where, where we are, so we can always dump them in there. A couple of lights we've got to change, we've got about a couple of lights, it's just about six little jobs to do today, so quite a nice little day, hopefully. And then we've got uh, Ashwell in the afternoon. Do you want to put the rubbish back on the van then, boat? I'll blow the front out as well. <coughs> Show the old dogs. Absolute double busy day today. Um, we didn't film too much well we've still got enough couple of little jobs to do it's only ten past two but uh, we've just gone to the, the best bakers in the world you wouldn't think this place in days of Asheville unbelievable we've got Chelsea bun do you not get yourself a Chelsea bun? No, I do you not get yourself anything? look the size of this bad boy oh la la what a bit cheers mate do I give you my card or? Well, it are decent. There's some CP company coming up at that boy. Just looking at this job Reese has been doing. Oh la la, fucking radio. I can't keep turning it off because of the radio. It's a nightmare. I can't film it, but I'll just turn it. Whose radio is it? The roofers? Uh, it's beautiful, isn't it? I've not been downstairs. Have a look at the bar. Have a look at the bar. Have you seen the bar yet, Ollie? Yes. I'll have to put music on top of this anyway. What are you saying? Look at these sockets in there. Oh, yeah. What about underneath there? Getting there, isn't it?
Very good, very nice. Oh, most of the light, lights are up, I didn't see that. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, if you're gonna be anything, to be electric up the elbows, you know. International brain.